please note that this video contains spoilers. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, movie thoughts. So, if you actually look at the plot, I'm not sure it makes complete sense. I guess it basically starts going, you know, off the rails when Adam Brody, you know, the that dude that you're constantly hoping that they will really go ahead and just kill. When they capture him again, you know, they... Right before that, it's established that this is their idea for how to get out of their situation. You know, the way to actually, you know, quit being targets for both of their companies is... You know, although at that point they think that it's just, you know, Jane thinks that John's company is after her, and I guess her own people for, you know, to clean up. But anyway, they didn't know that that was the plan from the start, at least. So they are hoping to get some leverage, either in having captured him or getting some information out of, you know, Brody. And they start torturing him, which is fun. Because he is so obnoxious in the movie. I'm really glad he's not in it for very long. Anyway. At this point, you would think that they get some information about what is really going on and how, you know... It would, it would be the place where they get something that is the key to solving the conflict. You know, or at least that scene should come later, and it never does. You know, what is revealed in the scene, in the hotel room with him, they just find out that from the start they were both the target. He was never the target. He was actually hired by them, you know. Which, I guess, means that, you know, that scene where he doesn't get to see the boss who had sent for him, that is Keith David behind that door, I guess, you know, because we did see him earlier that he was, you know, giving Angelina orders, but yeah. Anyway, he was, and still is, just bait, you know, it's just for them to, you know, attack him so that he can, you know, so that they are in the same place and that they will be killed by other assassins, or that they will kill each other. That was the initial plan. And that's just kind of it. My girlfriend actually made uh, a great point when we were, as we were watching that scene when, you know, when he reveals that it's actually both companies working together to have them both killed. One that I'm not sure I'd completely thought of, and again, this is a plot that really doesn't make sense if you stop to think about it. What she said was, actually now they are working together, you know, the two companies. They, they are, so what's the problem? You know, they were competing before and it makes sense that, you know, they try to take out the competition by, you know, having the best killer of the other team killed, but, you know, currently they are so, so what's the point? Why have them killed? Why not try to, you know, maybe it made sense at first, like when they thought that, well, when they discover that the other is an assassin, they will want to have, you know, they will want to kill each other, I guess, but once that was over, you know, but of course we always, you know, Many Hollywood action movies have that sort of thing. You should never have messed with my family, with my loved ones, you know, because that is when, you know, you're not getting away from this. And, of course, they fall in that, and, you know, you can complain about that, but you'd have to target so many other movies for that as well. My issue is just that it's not actually resolved. There is no climactic, you know, they don't get to the the head of either company and kill off that one or threaten them to, you know, leave them alone. At the end, they're just... safe, I guess? I don't know. We just see them, you know, 
blow apart the, you know, the shopping mall and take out all the the assassins there. Were those the last of the assassins for both companies? Is that what it's supposed to And they're even at the same psychiatrist, so it's not like they fled the country or something. Things are just fine. And that's another thing. Why are things fine with their marriage either? You know, five minutes earlier, they were at each other's throats. You know, the knife in the leg thing, you know. I don't want to talk about it. That whole thing, you know, it's fun. It's the the jokes are pretty good, I thought, but suddenly they're just okay. How how did that happen? You know, earlier on in the film, they do seem quite okay, you know, after they've tried killing each other and, you know, they've rediscovered the passion, but then after that they're bickering again, and then at the end they're just fine again. You know, it just there wasn't a scene or a sequence, there was nothing where they just stopped and said, hey, we work really well together as a team, or, you know, I've always liked this or that thing about you, you know, they're just, yeah, they, they kind of, after, you know, once they're attacked by, you know, both firms and the assassins of those firms, they go right back to, you know, now they're fighting alongside each other, but they're still, you know, verbally fighting. They're still arguing over and over. The... And I also th thought, you know, the, the companies... We almost didn't need to see that much of the two companies. It really didn't... I mean, basically, the film is just about this marriage or and or this sort of allegory for marriage in which, you know, they're saying that, excuse me, married couples not literally try to kill each other, but they hurt each other a lot, you know. And it does get a little unsettling at points with just how vicious they get towards each other, you know. But we didn't really need to see so much of the other, of, of the firms, you know. If you cut Vince Vaughn out of this movie, you don't lose a lot. You know, basically he's there for John to bounce stuff off of and, you know, to have the two piece together that they should go after Brody, I think his name is, which, you know, actually turns out not to at all affect it in any kind of, you know, that just tells them that they were both the targets, you know. It's a decent enough twist, but it really doesn't make sense, but I already went over that. Or, it makes sense, but there should have been some kind of actual wrap-up to it. But yeah, the, but, but yeah, you know, her firm, we see these, what, four chicks that she's working with, and really, other than that they help them near the end to find Brody, which, you know, again, they might have been doing so just so that they could get killed, and, you know, that bit where they're cutting up her teddy bear, and, you know, watching the home video from the marriage, you know, which, you know, affects her emotionally, and then she has to try to hide that. Other than that, there's no reason for them to be in this, because they don't, they do nothing, you know, they, there is really nothing, and we learn nothing about them, they, they don't have characters, or much less character arcs. You know, I did like that the you know, Brad and Angelina actually did have actual characters, you know. It was maybe slightly disappointing that they were kind of cliche, you know. She's just the, you know, the controlling woman, and he's the somewhat sentimental and more just going by instinct man. So, you know, not a lot to it there, but, you know, and... and I think they work well together, 
and that could really have sunk this movie completely, you know, if their pairing, if they didn't have chemistry. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much what I wanted to say about it. Quickly, I'll just add that my very favorite bits are that last action scene, you know, especially, maybe especially, when they leave that, you know, little safe place they were in and everything is just slow motion and, you know, they're just firing all those and they dodge those two rockets or grenades, not sure which. That and the car scene where they're both in that big, you know, the, the minivan or whatever, and, you know, they argue over who should drive and they take care of those cars behind them and that whole thing, you know. I guess thinking about it, this film was actually kind of slanted towards, I mean, not that I really have a problem with it, just wanted to point out, Angelina is much more badass than Pitt, really. I mean, she seems more professional, she has more kills, she gets more stuff done some of the time. You know, she's the good driver in that car scene on the freeway, and she's the one who actually shoots so that, you know, they get killed, you know, so that the cars, you know, explode and everything, so, yeah. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.